Trier is an incredible place packed with history. In fact, it's even said to be the oldest city in Germany. In the 4th century, it became one of the largest cities of the Roman Empire, and Trier continued to be an important seat of power throughout the Holy Roman Empire as well. So come along, and we'll unpack some of its history by visiting seven of Trier's most fascinating places. First up is Porta Nigra. The name means Black Gate in Latin, and it was constructed in 170 AD by the Romans. It's made up of over 7,200 sandstone blocks, some of which weigh up to six tons. The gate was turned into a church starting in the 11th century, and it stayed that way until 1804, when Napoleon had the church dismantled. The areas in blue are the portions of the church which were removed to reveal the ancient Roman gate. Though traces of its Christian past can still be seen. A small admission fee lets you freely explore the structure and take in the beautiful views over Trier. Number two is the Hauptmarkt, or the main market of the old medieval town. This was the center of Trier in the Middle Ages, and it remains so today. Der Petrusbrunnen, or St. Peter's Fountain, was placed here in 1595, in honor of St. Peter, patron saint of Trier. With the key to heaven in his hand, he's kept watch over the square for over 400 years. Next up is Trier Dome, also known as Trier Cathedral. Most of the structure you see here dates back to the 11th century, but some of its walls were built by the Romans, making this the oldest church in Germany. Trier Cathedral is an important pilgrimage for Catholics around the world, mainly because it houses what some believe to be the actual tunic worn by Jesus shortly before his crucifixion. According to legend, Empress Helena, mother of Constantine the Great, discovered the relic in Jerusalem and brought it back to Trier in the year 327 AD. It's also important to mention that Helena's son, Constantine, was the first Roman emperor to convert to Christianity. In the year 313, he signed the Edict of Milan, which granted protection from persecution for Christians living in the Roman Empire. Now we come to the Basilica of Constantine. Built in 310 AD, this simple but elegant structure was once the emperor's throne room. This structure also happens to be the largest single room completely unsupported by columns to survive from the classical world. Now let's take a stroll through the gardens of the Electoral Palace. This was the residence of the Prince Archbishops of the Holy Roman Empire from the 1600s up until the late 1700s. That is until the French Revolution broke out and armies swept through the region and confiscated the palace. But these days, the Baroque Palace hosts government offices as well as classical music concerts. Number six are the ruins of the Roman imperial baths. These public baths were constructed in the 4th century AD as a gift from the emperor to the Roman residents of Trier. They were intended to promote physical well-being, but also functioned as a gathering place for the citizens of Trier. If you visit the site today, you can descend into the subterranean passageways and even walk the corridors where the staff once lit the boilers that heated the various rooms and pools to precise temperatures. 
A place like this really makes you realize how strikingly modern the Romans were nearly 2,000 years ago. The last site we'll visit is the Roman Amphitheater. This arena once held up to 20,000 spectators. There are impressive arches and tunnels to explore, as well as small chambers where gladiators waited to take to the stage. It's a little spooky, but you can descend into a subterranean chamber where lions, tigers, and other wild animals were kept in stone cages to be used in gladiator events. But today, the amphitheater is a place of serenity, where you can contemplate the bright and the dark side of history, take in the fresh air, and simply enjoy the view. That concludes our brief tour through the wonderful city of Trier. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen.